Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the terminal velocity of a single spherical particle moving in a fluid in a Stokes regime. Okay, so uh, let's assume your particle, the particle has the diameter of D and the density of rho S. Okay, moving in a fluid with the viscosity of mu and the density of rho F. Okay, the density of the fluid. Uh, three forces are acting on this particle at the same time. One is the downward gravity, that is Fg, and then you have uh, upward uh, buoyancy forces, Fb, and upward drag forces, Fd. Okay, so Fg, the weight of the particle, we know it is equal to mass of the particles times the acceleration um, gravity, that is ms, mass of the particles times g and instead of the mass i can write density of the particles time uh, volume of the particle so it will be rho s times volume and the volume of the sphere we know it is equal to pi d3 divided by 6 times g okay so that will be uh, the uh, gravitational forces okay for buoyancy forces fb we know this is equal to uh, weight of the displaced fluid, which will be equal to the mass of the displaced fluid, ml, times uh, gravity, acceleration gravity. And the mass of the displaced fluid will be equal to the density of the fluid, that is rho f, times volume of the fluid, volume of the displaced fluid, which is equal to the volume of the uh, solid, basically, volume of this sphere, okay, which is equal to pi d3 divided by 6 times g. Okay, so that will be the buoyancy forces. As for the drag forces, uh, when the Reynolds number, when the Reynolds number is less than 0.3, Okay, when Reynolds number is less than uh, 0.3, the Dirac force can be calculated based on the Stokes law. That is, Fd is equal to 3 pi d mu times Vt. And Vt is the terminal velocity of this settling particle. Okay, so that's the Stokes law. So to have the basically particle to move at a constant terminal velocity Vt, the summation of these forces uh, along the y-axis should be equal to zero. In other words, Fg minus uh, Fb minus Fd should be equal to zero. Okay, so you have now three terms for each of these forces, that is Fg, Fb, and Fd. So you can substitute these three expressions into this equation. So instead of Fg, I write rho s times pi d3 divided by 6 times g, minus instead of Fb, I write rho f pi d3 divided by 6 times g, minus Fd, which is equal to 3 pi d mu terminal velocity equal to 0. Okay, so here you can factor pi d3 6 times g and it will be rho s minus rho f, okay, equal to 3 pi d mu and uh, vt, terminal velocity. So from this equation you can simply uh, conclude that Vt will be equal to, so you can divide everything by this coefficient, by the coefficient of 3 pi d mu, uh, will be equal to, pa, uh, and the result will be equal to rho s minus rho f times d2 g divided by 16 mu. And that's the uh, terminal velocity of a particle with a diameter of D uh, settling uh, in a fluid in a Stokes uh, regime. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you are interested, please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.